everyone good morning welcome to german class i am aditya and you are watching live so today we are starting new a1 level this level is specially absolutely for beginners if you are a beginner if you just want to start learning language so this class is very very important for all the beginners so this is day 1 for beginners how do we start day 1 with the beginners so we'll see in this video and of course it will be helpful for other learners also you may clar clarify your doubts and you may strong your fundamentals okay so stay tuned and keep watching and please watch the entire class don't skip anything otherwise you may face difficulty in understanding you may have difficulty so i hope that you will watch the entire class so first of all let me tell you that we have alphabets and alphabets are as similar as we have in english but their sound is different alphabets are same but sound is different like a b c d we say a b c d we say a b c d okay you have to learn the pronunciation that is very very important a b c d like alphabets if i say a b c d e c a a in hindi a b c d e and then f f is same f is same huh? f is same f so a b c d a f okay these are alphabets okay these are alphabets and day 1 so today is day 1 and we are doing alphabets this is absolutely beginner class first day jaise first day start hota hum kaise class karenge ye wo hai so a b c d e f alphabets same we write in the same manner like in english but pronunciation sound is different like a is called a suppose i write the word ball okay you can see the spelling is same in english we say ball but in german we say ball ball okay so similarly somebody is this name we say karl karl okay so a the sound is a ball karl all right so this is very very important okay you should know the beginners level this pronunciation then b c d a f okay you will learn this with the passage of time i will show you certain words so these words are not difficult just you should know the pronunciation if somebody's name is arun if i say spell this word so a r u n this is called a r u n okay these are alphabets okay i'll erase this and then i'll come back i'll erase this okay then i'll tell you again all right so we'll see some more alphabets just wait so this is a b c d e okay a b c d e then a f g h e so this is a we have done this na a f is same g this is called g okay g the name of this alphabet is g then we have ha in hindi then e okay e so a f g h e a f g h e a b c d a b c d a f g h e okay this is the steps so if i say one sentence e like you know there are words okay which has alphabet i so i'm just thinking about that like there is a german word most of gift okay gift so this is called gift okay this is called gift 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 so sound is e gift okay gift like sprit sprist e sprist so i gives the sound e sprist gift okay 
सो ए एफ गे हा ई आ बे से डे ए एफ गे हा ई ओके कैरी ऑन फर्दर यॉट का एल एम एन ओ ओके एल एम एन ओ दीज आर ऑल सेम इन इंग्लिश इन जर्मन विस इज द सेम एल एम एन ओ एल एम एन ओ ओके एंड दिस इज यॉट यॉट खा ओके आ बे से डे ए एफ के हा ई यॉट का एल एम एन ओ दीज आर सेम ओके Yes, same. L M N O. Yacht means any word start with J. Sound is Y. The sound is Y. Y. Like if somebody's name is John, the German say Jan. Jan, because the sound is Y. Okay, Jan. The name is Yacht. Alphabet is called Yacht. Yacht. And some like. ओके योगुट 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 ओके योगुट इन इंग्लिश दही योगुट योगुट ऑल राइट योगुट ओके खा एल एम एन ओ धन पे कु एल एस ठी धन फे पे कु एल एस ठी O F O U. This is called F O U. Means sound is F. F. So P. Q. L. S. S is same. T. O. Okay, T O, and then F O U. F O U sound is F. Sound is F. Okay, any word start with V, the sound is F. Like the name. This is the name, Vera. But German say Fera, Fera because the sound is F, and the name name is F O U. V is considered F O U. Fera, like there is a word club, ferrine, but we say f, ferrine means club, ferrine club, ferrine club. Okay, another the number. This is four number in, in German. Fear, fear, because we give the sound of f, fear. All right, very good. X, epsilon, set, ending. Okay, X, X, epsilon. It's the name epsilon. There are hardly words with these alphabets. Epsilon. Okay, then set. The name of this alphabet is set. Z is the name given. Set. So X, epsilon, set. Now we have some special character. Okay, this is called S set, and we have umlaut. These dots are called umlaut. These dots are called umlaut, like a umlaut, o umlaut, u umlaut, and then S set. This the name is S set. It's sometimes if you don't have this alphabet in the keyboard or mobile phone, you can. Replace it with double S. Okay, this is called S set. S set, right? So A umlaut, A umlaut, O umlaut, U umlaut. But when we pronounce the sound, is A, A, E O, E O, 
antis eu eu so we'll see some words and then you will understand better okay how these alphabets works in german so that was the alphabet okay you should know the pronunciation okay now if i say okay pronounce a word i'll write here certain words so you will understand how to use them okay what is the name of a particular alphabet sir first name is arjun so if you tell the spelling in english it is a r j u n but in german a r j u a r j u n then kita okay this is a word and how do you spell kha e t a kita rohan r o h a a n rohan then mia m e a mia paul p a u l paul okay govind the name govind g o v e n d govind okay so you will have to speak speak like this this is called spelling buchstaben okay if somebody says buchstaben mean spell the name buchstaben means tell the spelling so in even level exam speaking exam examiner ask you buchstaben is a name spell your name so you have to tell the spelling like this all right so that was alphabet okay now we move on to second one here we'll see salan salan means number salan means number number in german okay like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we start with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 4 okay so zero is called null okay null then eins eins you can repeat after me zwei drei vier okay null eins zwei drei vier then fünf sechs sieben acht So that is fünf, hmm? fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun. Okay, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun. Okay, ein, null, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs. Zeven, eight, nine. Okay, you have to speak like this. You have to repeat. You have to repeat. The more you repeat, the more better you will be. Just a short break. you can repeat this okay you can practice here you can practice here all right you should practice here <coughs> okay, you must practice here all right okay you can practice here all 
All right. Okay, now we carry on. All right. So we have seen some numbers. I repeat once again. Null, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun. Okay, these are the numbers. All right. Next. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. 14, 15. Now, 10, same, same. This is 11 and 12. See, same, same. Okay, same means 10, same. 11, 11 and 12. That is 12. You can see here umlaut. So, 12. 12 12 very good 12 okay 12 then now see 13 14 15 okay 13 14 15 so you know 13 is dry then same 14 fear same then fünf same so you understand here so dry plus same fear plus same film plus same okay like 3 plus 10 equal to 13 so we write dry same we don't write plus but dry okay dry same means 13 okay similarly 4 and 10 so fear same film same okay so we do like this 15 film same so after 12 there is a series dry same fear same film same similarly 16 exact same okay exact same 17 we have to check if s comes or not zip same okay zip same now here you see 7 is called z1 but here we write only half word zip and then same exact same so this is the series exact same okay so dry same fear same film same exact same act same 18 is called if i say 18 okay i'll erase this 18 19 and then 20 so act same act same 18 9 same 19 and 20 20 20 act same 9 same 20 20 20 20 so after 20 we have a series now round figure 30 40 70 how do we write so 20 20 so 30 dry cis so here and then 40 fear you know fear is called 4 and then cis here we write only this s set only with 30 we write s set not z s set so dry cis 40 fear cis and 70 again zip half we don't write full zip and then cis zip cis okay cis this is the ending okay so it's a series suppose i say 80 80 act and then says act says 90 9 says 90 okay 80 so here says act says 9 says okay so this is the round figure you should know the round figure okay now start with the 10 Sin, swan sesh, dry sesh, fear sesh, film sesh, zack sesh, zip sesh, act sesh, noin sesh, swan sesh, swan sesh, noin sesh, i hundreds. Sorry, 100 is called, 100 is called, okay, i hundred. If you say 100, 
आइन हंड्रेड आइन हंड्रेड वन हंड्रेड आइन हंड्रेड आइन हंड्रेड मीन्स वन हंड्रेड वन हंड्रेड ओके सो वी हैव सीन राउंड फिगर्स ओके टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी एंड वी हैव सीन वन टू ट्वेंटी नाउ टू डिजिट नंबर ओके से आई राइट आई राइट ट्वेंटी वन नाउ बी केयरफुल ट्वेंटी वन वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द राइट साइड ओके यूनिट प्लेस राइट दिस इज आइन एंड देन ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी बिकम ट्वेंटी वन आइन ओंड स्वांसेस ओके आइन ओंड स्वांसेस दिस इज ट्वेंटी वन सपोज आई से थर्टी फाइव सो यूनिट प्लेस फाइव फ्यूनफ एंड थर्टी फ्यूनफ ओंड थर्टी वी हैव सीन द्राइसिस फिफ ओंड द्राइसिस फाइव एंड थर्टी थ्री एंड थर्टी फाइव एंड फोर्टी लाइक दिस ओके एंड अदर नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स जेक्स ओंड फिफ्थ सिक्स जेक्स जेक्स ओंड ओके ओनली विथ थर्टी वी राइट डबल एस सेट जस्ट ऑल वी स्टार्ट विथ जेड आई जी सिक्स जेक्स ओके जेक्स ओंड फिर सिक्स सिक्स एंड फोर्टी सो वी राइट लाइक दिस इन जो मैम सिक्स एंड फोर्टी ओके फोर्टी सिक्स so we can continue like this so on okay it's not difficult like 98 99 so here act and here noins act und noinses act und noinses act und noinses okay act und Nine six. Similarly, nine and ninety. So nine, nine, und nine six. Okay, nine und nine six. Nine and ninety. Okay, ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety eight, ninety nine. All right. Now, if I say. 200 now we will see 200 400 700 900 okay 100 is called ein 100 similarly here swai 100 200 hundred okay t fear 100 so you know four is called fear We are hundred seven. So Z one here we write complete Z one hundred okay seven hundred nine hundred huh? nine 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 hundred huh? nine hundred nine hundred. So this is R till nine hundred and one thousand. I'm thousand okay. Ein thousand, ein thousand, ein thousand, one thousand. Okay, please repeat. Ein hundred, zwei hundred, drei hundred, vier hundred, fünf hundred, sechs hundred, sieben hundred, acht hundred, neun hundred, ein thousand. so that was all till 1000 i hope you are enjoying the class it's very very informative very good class for the beginners basic day 1 now we come to the three digit we have seen two digit now three digit suppose 115 127 128 
I have written few numbers, three digit numbers. How do we write them? These are three digit numbers. Okay, so 115. So ein hundert, first 100 and then 15. So ein hundert, we have seen one ein hundert and then few same. This is 15. Ein hundert, few same. So here you should. Now the basics are important. We have seen 1 to 20. That is your base. And then you can frame further numbers. Now 127. So I'm 100 and then 27. I'm 100. And then 27. Z1 und Swansich. Again with two digits. Z1 und Swansich. 7 and 20. So Z1. Okay, so that's our I hundred Z one und Swansish. Okay. Very good. Alright, any doubt, any confusion, please you can write in the comment section. Okay, for any query, you can write here. Yes, good morning, everyone. This is our even level day one class, absolute beginner. So now 385. So 300, dry 100, dry 100, dry 100, and then 85. Two digit fun font axis five and eighty fun font axis that's complete it's a big word okay but it's like that you should know like dry hundred then fun font axis similarly ein hundred z1 und sansis ein hundred fun font same so you have to break that number. You have to learn properly. Now 975. So first 900. 900. 900. And then 75. Two digit. First 5 and 70. Fun und Zipsish. Fun und Zipsish. That's it. Again, 900 fun und zipsish. So that's our number. So we have seen till 1000. I hope you understand this. Okay. We'll continue the class because absolute beginner class. So we'll see further what's here. Okay. Numbers we have seen from zero till 1000. You should practice this okay you can watch the video again and again make your notes and you will definitely learn better it's very interesting class very good class so you must enjoy now we'll see articles in german you know articles are very important and it's very very crucial articles are very crucial okay we cannot ignore the articles articles are very crucial okay we say articles in german articles what is article in german every noun has an article gender specification we cannot say only human beings can be considered male in german a table can be considered male almira male door female laptop male computer male it's very strange but that's the german language so we have to learn the article every noun okay i would say every noun has an article in german every noun has an article okay every noun has an article 
every now. We say nomen. Nomen. Every noun in German has one article. It can be die, it can be der, it can be das. So every noun in German has been given one article. So it is advisable whenever we learn a new noun, we should learn with the article. Now, how many articles we have? It's the question. How many articles we have? Okay, we have only three articles. Dare, D, and Das. Dare, D, Das. Das is considered neutral, neutral gender. D is considered feminine gender. Dare is considered masculine gender. But don't think that if the article of a particular noun is dare, that is masculine. It's a male. It's not human being. It can be, but in object, non-living things can be given an article. Like I said, door is feminine. Table, masculine. Computer, masculine. Camera, feminine. Photo, neutral. So you have to learn it. You have to accept it without any question. This is the language. Every language has its own structure, its own grammar, its own way. So just accept it as it is and carry on. For vocabulary, you have to do practice, you have to learn, you have to write sentences and speak them. Now, I'll write certain nouns here, okay? I'll write certain nouns here. Before that, okay, I'll frame, okay, one table so that it is easy. I'll frame one table. All right. So this is for dare. I will write all the noun with dare. Here D and here Das. I told you dare means masculine. D feminine. Das neutral. Okay. So there are nouns which are masculine. We'll see. Okay. So it does not mean that it's a male. It's a human being. No. We are talking about objects. It can be any object. It can be any object. Still, at any point of time, if you have any confusion, please leave a comment. Write your query in the comment. Because I am reading your comments. Your comments are visible to me very clearly. Alright? So, they are masculine. How do we say? Like there are, I write few examples like laptop. Dish, table. Baum, tree. Okay, I have written only three words. I'll write three each. Laptop. We'll speak same like in English laptop. There are so many English words that we use in German. Laptop. Tisch means table. Tisch, table. Okay. I can draw a picture. I hope you understand. This is table. Okay. Table. Baum is tree. Baum is tree that is baum tree okay now d feminine noun like lamp lamp door door wohnung flat apartment okay lamp how do you say lamp a lamp a sound lamp Tear, you umlaut. Tear, you sound is you. Tear. Then wonung, wonung. You should repeat after me. Wonung. Tear. Lamp. Now, neutral gender. Book. Very common noun. Book. House. Auto. Auto is car. Book, book, house, house, auto, auto is car. 
ओके आउटो जस्ट एड ऑफ आइडिया आउटो कार सो आई हैव रिटर्न हेयर फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स डेयर डी एंड दास नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट डज इट मीन डेयर डी दास ऑल मीन्स द ऑल मीन्स द लाइक द लैपटॉप द टेबल द ट्री द लैम्प द डोर द अपार्टमेंट द बुक द हाउस द कार सो ऑल मीन्स द इफ यू वॉन्ट टू से द वी यूज द पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल इफ यू आर सींग द लैम्प आई विल से डी लैम्प इफ आई से द लैपटॉप डेयर लैपटॉप इफ आई से द बुक दस बुक सो ऑल दीज मीन्स द द ओके वी कैरी ऑन लाइक आई से द बैग इज गुड दिस इज माई फर्स्ट सेंटेंस नाउ वी आर लर्निंग सेंटेंस फॉर्मेशन we are learning sentence formation the bag is good we'll start with the bag so bag tasha article t d tasha is is good now you can see good means good is means is and this is the bag detacher is is a verb is is means is this is our verb you can see verb position is second in german verb is written at the second position this is very important the verb is written at the second position so this is our first position this is second position okay the bag is good detacher is good the bag is good and this good is called adjective adjective the size adjective the bag is good detacher is good good is here adjective is that clear detacher is good any question yes i have made videos please go to the video section playlist of b1 level and you will find the tips i have given so many tips i have prepared many videos on b1 level there are vocabulary you have to learn vocabulary there is no other choice learn them use them in a sentence frame sentences unless you frame sentence you will not learn you cannot retain in the mind either you make sentence or you speak with someone if you have partner speak initially you will make mistakes but don't be afraid you have to speak continuously constantly learning vocabulary is not enough you have to apply them you have to implement them make sentences write a text write a short note write an email or speak with someone that's the only solution no other solution no shortcut you cannot learn by heart 100 words in a day you will forget after a couple of days because you have not used them in a sentence you have to use them in a sentence okay yes we'll do b1 exam preparation yes okay so detacha is good the bag is good the bag is good detacha is good so in this sentence we have subject verb and adjective okay i'll change the slide or i'll write here once again in german only detacher is good the bag is good here this is my subject subject we say subject 
This is my verb. This is adjective. Okay. So these are the important components. These are three important components. Okay. If you want to frame a sentence, if you want to make a sentence, you must have subject. You must have a verb. And then you can have either adjective or a noun. It can be adjective, it can be noun. But these two components are very, very important. You cannot frame sentence without subject or a verb. All right, move on. Another example. The lamp. The lamp is small. The lamp is small. The lamp is small. This is my lamp. And I am saying this lamp is small. This lamp is small. So the lamp. The lamp. The lamp. Is. Klein. The lamp is klein. The lamp is small. So again, if I do labeling, this is subject, this is verb, this is adjective. I write in short, subject, verb, adjective. All right, is that clear to everyone? Any question, any doubt? Please hit the like if you really enjoy this lesson. Yes. All those who are learning B1 and B2, my advice to please go to the playlist and watch the videos available there. I will tell you about some other day in the live class. Today's class is for beginners day one. The lamp is climb. If you have doubt related to the particular this topic that we are doing, definitely I will be happy to answer. The lamp is climb. The lamp is small. All right. Now, I say the tree is green. Green. Tree is green. Okay. Very good. The tree is green. This is my tree. And I am saying this tree is green. This tree is green. So, they are bound. You remember the tree? We know the article bound and the article is dare. So dare bound is green. Dare bound is green. Dare bound is green. The tree is green. Again, this is my subject. This is my verb. This is my adjective. All right. So always subject and verb. There is a relation. There is a relation between subject and the verb. This subject is singular. I am talking about one tree here. Yeah? You can see one tree. And I'm saying this tree is small. This tree is small. So the tree is small. Okay. Dare bound. This is dare bound. And I'm saying this bound. This tree is small. So dare bound is climb. The tree is small. Their bound is green. I am saying the tree is green. It's very green. Okay. So their bound is green. The so, subject is singular. Here my subject is singular. So I have used is. Like I say that in English also the tree is. If I use plural noun means I use one other object. I say the tree and the bag are green. I am using two objects. Pay attention. The tree and the bag are green. Let's see. Very interesting. I am talking about two things here. Okay. Tree and one bag. This is the bag. Okay. Just I am saying the tree and the bag are green so dear bound 
Now I write only in German. Try to understand. Drebaun und means and. Detacher. Zind. Grün. Okay. Now we'll see. I'm seeing the tree and the back. Two object. The, here we have two object. One bound and second back. The tree and the back are. This is my verb here. Plural. Verb plural. Singular we used is. In plural we are using zint. So the tree and the back are green. Both are green. So I have two objects here. I have used two objects. One and two. So if we have two objects, the verb will be zint. Okay, verb is zint. R. It's as similar as English. The tree and the back are green. All right. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us. Just keep watching. Share this video's link. Share this link with your friends. Share on your social media. Make status today. If you really enjoy, if you appreciate my hard work, so just make status of this video link. Okay, on your WhatsApp status so that more and more people join us. They can learn with us. And this is the aim of this class, this platform to educate you, to teach you German online without any cost. So please hit the like first and share it as much as possible. Yes, thank you. So you have seen here, here we have used two objects. Object one is tree, object two is my back. And I'm saying the tree and the back are green. Their color is green, okay? Their color is green. Yes, thank you, Shahid. Thank you, Stan. Their color is green. Their baum und die Tasche sind grün. Very good sentence. Now, we'll continue. I hope you understand. So, now we have seen verb. We have seen subject, subject. And we have seen adjective. Adjective. So verb like ist, this is the verb. Zind, this is the verb. Ist means is. Zind means are. Okay. And the subject, in the subject we have used different types of noun. We have used different types of noun like dare bound. Like detacher. Okay. We have used different nouns. I can use also the book, das book. Okay, so these are my subject. I'm using noun here. An adjective I have used so far green color. This is part of adjective. I have used small, klein, okay, or any other adjective I can use. There are so many adjectives. Okay, so in my videos link description, you will find a channel, my blog channel. Aditya Sir German class. Even you can search on Google Aditya Sir German class.com and here you will find so many worksheets, assignments for practice. Okay. I do upload on daily basis. All right. So this is thus, these are some important components is R and subject dare baum detasha. Now I will use person instead of this subject i can also use person person i can use person i can say i am aditya so here i is subject i am aditya i can say he is rohan she is tina i can use that because a subject can be an object like tree back book or a subject can be a person okay quickly just have a look 
it's going to be very interesting class i hope you are all enjoying i hope you are having fun okay now i say i am aditya you can write your name i am writing my name aditya so ish now how do you say i ish ish means i me ish bin aditya now i say he is maria martin he is martin name so air he air is martin sentence formation is same here if you see this sentence ish this is my subject this is my verb and this is my name noun subject verb object subject ish singular i ish here air he third person air means he he okay is is singular so is he is martin air is martin that's my subject air is martin i am saying he is martin i am aditya he is martin air is martin air is martin so this is my verb singular verb because i am talking about only one single person that is third person he he is martin air is martin i am aditya ish bin aditya now we'll see only subjects i you he she okay first we learn them i you he she we these are in english i okay in german we say ish you can speak ish do or we can say z air z v okay repeat after me ish i do you informal if i say formal z we have two types conversation formal or informal formal do formal z sorry informal do and then he is air he if it's a girl she z the sound is z buzzing sound z okay z and we are we are we are okay now we'll see verb as i said if subject is singular we use singular verb if subject is plural we use plural verb so here the first verb we are taking is sign verb sign means to be to be like i say i am you are you are martin i am aditya he is rohan she is maria we are all students how do we say so we need a verb and this verb is sign currently i am using the verb sign to be to be means existence of something it shows existence my existence your existence so i am ishpin if i say you are i am taking do do beast do beast or z zint he is er is she is z is we are we are zint so this is the verb conjugation this you have to learn this is called verb conjugation this is our first step towards sentence making ish bin you have to learn like this ish bin do best er is z is we are zint you can see these two are similar verb is similar same is okay same you can learn it er z is same same similar but ish bin i am do best you are if you are saying formally 
आप जीजेंड आई कैन से फॉर्मल जीजेंड वी आर सेंट वी आर वी आर जेंट वी आर वी आर सेंट यस ऑल राइट एंजॉइंग द क्लास एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट इट्स अ लॉन्ग क्लास ना फिफ्टी मिनट्स वी हैव स्पेंट जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू फिनिश दिस टॉपिक देन विल कंटिन्यू इन अनदर लाइव क्लास यू हैव टू वेट ओके इन द इवनिंग वे विल हैव प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट सो यू कैन जॉइन एस ऑल्सो इन द इवनिंग for practice test so i'll continue this okay now i am so it's been aditya my i'm writing my name now i am saying to you do do best martin you are martin now i'm saying he is rohan arrest rohan and then she is tina oh she is tina my friend z is tina z is tina and then we are students we are students we are sent student 10 we are sent student 10 this is plural this is plural we are is plural plural so that's all in this class thank you so much for joining us please share this video share this class as much as possible so now see you tomorrow of course see you in the evening today for the test for the practice test online practice test with me live so you can join us on telegram group link you will find below in the description or in the video description go to the any video and click and join the group and watch all the important links of the different videos thank you so much bye bye take care